Netflix is starting to see that not having exclusive shows makes it tough to compete with competition. I mean, but they do have exclusive shows, though. And the only reason that, that Netflix is struggling now, because competition is adding up, but they're still number one, right? 200. I mean, uh, Disney Plus is catching up. HBO uh, Plus sounds like they're, they're getting close. Uh, but they're still number one. You know what I mean? And they only got there because they were first to get there. Oh, you know what? Since we're... I always wanted to kind of share this video with you guys. Okay, so it starts out with uh, 1972. I was born in 1980, so this is eight years. Eight years before I was born. Uh, they started out, you know, we got Atari, uh, Coleco, Magnavox, Mattel. I didn't know Mattel had a a platform, uh, a console. Uh, Microsoft, it's not even in the picture. They're going to be down at the bottom for a while. NEC, a, those, that's a big Japanese com uh, company. I didn't know they had a system. Nintendo, Sega, Sony. So they pretty much started zero. Magnavox started with uh, 9,000. 300 and this is console sales per company have you guys seen this before before i hit play i want to see how many people saw this they have a lot of content they have exclusives rights to yeah but then netflix or stranger things uh i mean there's just a lot of things on netflix that i'm not saying disney can't uh reach netflix or they can't beat netflix well actually you know what this is this is the video that's gonna you know, make up for that conversation right there all right so let's see the magnum box okay and then who who, who t starts to beat mike demas releases the first game console in 1972 the odyssey for 99 dollars 600 and 200 that's a ps5 right there okay nobody there's no no competition look at that no competition nobody for a couple years already and then companies are like oh wait a second these guys are making some money from this you know, maybe we can start making uh, making our own and see if we can compete. And then all of a sudden, Atari, bam, new kid on the new kid to the block. I'm gonna turn the music down because I don't know if it's gonna copyright. Uh, new kid on the block. Look at that. Now they're catching up to Magnavox. Magnavox is slowing down. You know what I mean? And then Coleco. I don't even know who Coleco is, but then they come up. You know, now now it's getting now it's getting tough. 1977 so it took five years they had a five year lead and all of a sudden atari and coleco nintendo leave them behind atari's getting left behind in 78 nintendo's catching up nintendo leaves atari right atari's fighting back magnabox is just sitting there in the fourth place after being the the originals you know what i mean then Atari, I don't know what happened with Atari or Nintendo to slow them down, but Atari's kicking butt. Mattel wants to get in the game. New kid, obviously, they always have that beginner's luck, right? Maybe uh, maybe exclusive content, licensing, and all that, like uh, Disney Plus. That's been, that, so that's the benefit that Disney Plus has, is the fact that they have a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of um, IP. Atari's still number one. Look at that. It's still 10 million units sold. Nintendo's way back over here and now this is probably getting close to to um getting close to what's the what's that first Nintendo game? And then boom, 1984 Nintendo's king. I mean, not, not no competition right here. Look at that. You know what I mean? Magnavox is way down over here, stopped at three million, they probably closed the project. Mattel closed after three million. Coleco probably closed after three million. Right, they're like we can't compete with 16 million, so let's uh, let's just give it up. And Nintendo keeps keeps going, and then watch. So that's all interesting because I wasn't around for that. Uh, this is, I'll show you exactly when I came in. Actually, right here, this year, this is when I came in. That's when me and my brothers and my sister found the uh, bag of coins and bought our first Nintendo. Took it back to Mexico. That's all we knew. We I didn't know about Sega. I didn't know about NEC, which I'm pretty sure is only in Japan right and you know sega's kind of creeping up a little bit nintendo's still king and then what sony comes in next right and sony just i mean sony was just brutal when it came out i knew about him even though i never had one that's all i ever heard about you know right here you're talking about nintendo 60 oh right there it showed it nintendo 64 
And then there was a few that showed up. I think Sega had the the Jaguar and the the what was the other one? What was the other? Or oh, was Atari Jaguar? Anything to Sega and released a game console for kids. <laughs> I did not know that. Ninety three. I'm thirteen years old right here. <laughs> thirteen years old. This is the prime gaming for me, and I only had the Nintendo up to that point. By the time Sony hits, uh. Yeah, I'm already, yeah, I'm still broke, so. But look at that. Look at how Sony. It's look how fast. Look. In a matter of a couple years, it just left Atari behind. In a matter of a couple years, it just leaves Sega behind. Right? Nintendo's still fighting, but they they're gonna start struggling a little bit. Right? Look at that. Now, I'm assuming all this is accurate, but it makes sense. This it feels right to me. <laughs> it feels facts, baby. <laughs> and then Microsoft is not even in the game. I'm 18 years old. They're not even around yet. They're not even around. Look, I'm already in the army right here. Look at that. And by, the, by this next year, I'm already a sergeant. Right here, I'm a sergeant. You know, and the military, Sony's, I mean, Microsoft's still not even around. And look at that. All of a sudden, Sony's king. Right? And then, boom, this is where I buy this, so uh, this first one. <laughs> I used it like five times. And then it's just ridiculous after this. You know what I mean? 2002, I'm out of the army, I'm out of active duty. Uh, I had none of this was part of my my history right here. This is just uh, this is I had no idea any any of this was going on. Oh, it looks like Microsoft struggled there for a little bit. So, which console launches uh, Microsoft to the top three? Not this one. It's the next one. I had a Sega Genesis and an N sixty four though later. Yeah. Like, look at this. And if I still gonna, it's gonna keep going. I wonder. I want to see one like this for cloud gaming because I know there was a few companies way back before even GFA came up. They were uh, they were trying to get in. So now uh, Microsoft is top three, and I think they leave Nintendo behind, right? I think this is where uh, Nintendo was struggling for a little while. But look at that. Atari got out of the market at thirty-one million units sold. Sega got out at 66 million sold. I mean, Animal Crossing by itself sold 30 million copies on that first year. 102 million units. When does it stop? What year does it stop? 2019. Isn't that crazy? Wait, so does Microsoft ever catch up to Sony? Or oh, this the, the Switch comes out? It stops right before the pandemic, too. I wonder what happened after the pandemic. Microsoft never catches up. I guess it can catch up in a year or two years, right? Like, if you only look at the sales for that year, or specific console, maybe. Oh, that's it. 150 million for Microsoft. 450. Look at that. And they started way late. Sony did, you know what I mean? In comparison. So you just never know. You never know. You know, Disney Plus may take out Netflix. You never know. You know, GFN may take out uh Stadia. I don't think that'll happen. I don't think GFN and Stadia are the same. Um GFN is reliant on Steam and and uh, Epic. So until that that changes, I don't know. I don't really see that happening, but it's very interesting. <laughs>